guys it's Ty and welcome back to my channel so I had mentioned in like the last tag video that I did um I think it was called like anything but books um that tag video I'll have that link down below if you haven't seen it you should probably check it out but I had mentioned that I wanted to start kind of like talking about different things besides books just so that you guys can start to know like more about me but I wanted to tell this story I didn't think I wanted to but I just thought I'd share it because I didn't know if I was the only one that this has ever happened to but it scared me to death because I literally thought it was going to be something that I was never going to get over. I thought I was never going to be able to film another video again because I just thought I would never want to show my face ever again and you probably think what is this girl talking about? And I'm probably being super dramatic, but it scared the shit out of me when it was happening. And it was, I actually had a really severe allergic reaction on my lips. And <laughs> I just have never experienced anything like this before. And I just feel like I wanted to tell you guys about it because it was crazy. And like I said, after what I went through, I just would never wish this on anybody else. And like I said, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced anything like this. So I just wanted to talk about it, tell you guys how I got over it. And we'll just go ahead and jump right into this story. So this actually happened the week before Mother's Day. So this is like really recent. I'm just getting over this. And so, like this past year I have been dealing with like cold sores and I don't know why I the last time like I had a cold sore before this year was probably when I was like five and at that time I think I had only had one from what I've been told by my parents and so like I, I have been getting them this year like maybe one every couple of months and so um, they haven't been like really big or anything. And my dad had told me to get this um, one stuff. I think it's called something like Camphophonique. I'll leave a picture up here um, if you guys never heard of it. I had never heard of it until he said something about it. So you just put it on your lip and it's supposed to dry it out and it gets rid of it with like a couple of days. And so I never had any issues with it. Um, I had probably used it like twice before this past time I used it and so the week before Mother's Day it was a Sunday before Mother's Day I had started getting that tingling on my lip and I'm like oh my god it, this cannot be happening to me again so I got the stuff I put it on my lip seemed to be working within a day or two I thought that it was clearing up so I put that I put that stuff on my lip seemed like it was fine but then the next day like on the other side of my lip, it seemed to have started like blistering. So then I started using that stuff on that side of my lip. And then like throughout the day, I started feeling like um, my lip was like starting to itch. And um, I started putting some more of that stuff on and so kind of give it like that drying sensation. And so while I'm putting the stuff on like the top of that lip, of course, like my bottom lip is starting to kind of like dry out and so I have like this other medicated like lip stuff that I was putting on my lip and you know how people are like using the Carmex or like the Blistex I was using this other stuff and you guys know the brand EOS um they usually have the chapstick that's in like those like the egg shape they're like in the little balls so they have their own form of like the medicated lip stuff that's supposed to keep your lips from being chapped so i was using that on the bottom of my lip while the top lip is like being dried out trying to get rid of this what i'm thinking is a cold sore i'm using the medicated stuff on my bottom lip to keep that one from being chapped okay so i'm like i have two things going on on my lips right okay so <laughs> finally the top lip looks like it's starting to clear up fine everything's good but then i start to notice that now my bottom lip is starting to get itchy 
it's starting to get kind of like crusty and looking like maybe a cold store is starting to like form on that lip and I'm like what is going on and so I'm not one of those people that like will tell anybody else <laughs> that something is going on I like to kind of keep stuff to myself and I'm just like hmm I'm gonna try to figure this out <laughs> and so now what I'm doing is I've switched and put that EOS medicated stuff on my top lip and now I'm putting that stuff that I've been treating that cold sore stuff now I'm putting that on the bottom lip because now I'm trying to figure out what this is and I'm trying to treat my bottom lip okay so now <laughs> Um, my bottom lip is getting dried out. And so I'm like, ah, but it's not working. It's not helping. Like it still looks like something is not right with my lip. So at this point, it's like Thursday and it's like Thursday evening. And by Thursday, both of my lips are now like they're dry. They're kind of crusty. They kind of look like they both have a uh, dry well they both kind of look like they have like cold sores like forming on them L listen I i'm kind of looking a mess here okay luckily <laughs> nobody is seeing me at this point because i work from home so i'm like maybe i should start googling and seeing what the heck is wrong with my with my mouth so i start googling and I start kind of seeing that maybe I'm having an allergic reaction to something. And I'm trying to think, like, what did I do? Like, what did I put on my mouth? Like, did I eat something that gave me, like, an allergic reaction? I'm getting, like, nervous. I'm starting to sweat because I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then I start seeing the word, like, cancer. And I'm like, oh, my God, I have cancer on my mouth. Like, what, what is happening to me? So then I finally call my mom. My mom's also a nurse, so I call my mom. This is like, I've been dealing with this for like four days at this point. And so I call my mom and I'm like, mom, this is what's going on. <laughs> Something is going on my lips. At this point, she already knew that like I was dealing with a cold sore and she had saw like the old, the earlier stages of the cold sore and she didn't think anything of it. And I didn't think even any, anything of it at that point. It just looked like a regular cold sore. And so um, I told her what was going on by from what she <laughs> had heard me describe it she was like mm, if that doesn't if you wake up and <laughs> you know it doesn't seem like it has improved you need to call the doctor and make an appointment okay I'll do that so I'm not really thinking it's all that bad but right before I go to sleep we both decide that I probably should take a Benadryl because also right before I go to sleep, I'm starting to notice that, especially like my bottom lip, is starting to be a little swollen. And I'm like, oh God, this is not good. So I take a Benadryl. I also lather a little bit more of that stuff that I'm using to fight what I'm still thinking is this cold sore all over my lips, y'all. I wake up that next morning, my lip is so swollen, it feels like it's about to pop. Not only that, but my lips are like so crusty and like they're so like pus filled and I, it's disgusting and I'm like, oh my God, I look a hot mess I've never in my life seen anything like this before and I send a picture to my mom and she was like mm, you need to have that looked at so I make an appointment with um we call it I don't know if this is the same everywhere but uh our drug stores are called CVS so um like their urgent care there is called minute clinic so I decide to go to the minute clinic and I accidentally make two appointments so the nurse practitioner calls and she's like hey which appointment are you coming to so I can cancel one so I can see somebody else I tell her which one I'm coming to and she's like well since I have you on the phone what seems to be the problem I tell her and she's like well if it it kind of sounds like it's an allergic reaction um usually I just kind of tell people to just take a Benadryl but um you can still come in so in my mind, I'm like, well, if it's just an allergic reaction and all she's going to tell me to do is take a Benadryl, what's the point of me even coming in? But I was like, you know what? 
I'm just gonna go in. Maybe she'll give me something else other than Benadryl. So I decide that I'm not gonna put anything else on my lips because I want her to see all of this nastiness in its true form because I want her to be able to see the same thing that I am seeing so that I know that I'm not crazy. So I decide that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show her my lips in its full form and I decide to take her the two things that I have been putting on my lips just so that she knows exactly what I have been doing to try to treat myself. So, you know what? And thank God that we are in the age where we can wear masks because there's no way that I would have been walking out the house looking the way that I was looking. Because when I tell you I was looking a mess, I was looking a hot mess. Okay? I was looking a hot mess. So, I get up to CVS. I'm sitting there. I'm waiting. <sighs> I go and see the nurse practitioner and she's the sweetest lady I've ever talked to. So I'm sitting on the little whatever that thing is that you sit on when you go in there. And mind you, she's a little farther away back from me. So she hasn't like seen me in my face yet, but I have my mask off. And just from what I'm telling her, she's like, I really think that you have an allergic reaction. Mind you, she hasn't really seen me in my face yet. So she hasn't really seen what's going on on my lips. So I'm like, yeah, um, uh, I guess it's an allergic reaction. That's what I've been, you know, reading on the internet. So she's like, um, what have you been putting on your lips? And I was like, ha, I actually have what I've been putting on my lips. I give her the stuff. I give her the stuff that I've been using for the cold sore. And then the other stuff that I, the medicated EOS medicated lip balm. And she's looking at the ingredients and she was like, hmm, I think you need to stop using both of these because there's like an ingredient in both of them that she thinks is what caused the allergic reaction. And I was like, fine. So meanwhile, while all this is happening, my dad is actually the one, I think I said this earlier, but my dad is actually the one that told me to use that stuff for the cold sore. And I had already texted him and was like, dad, this is actually your fault while I'm here. So make sure I had to put the blame on somebody. But so she actually finally comes up to me and was like, well, let me go ahead and take a look at your lips so I can see what's going on. So she finally looks me in my face. And as soon as she comes up to me, she goes, oh, and I was like, really? <laughs> that That's what we gonna do? She was like, oh, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's like, I'm so sorry that you are dealing with this. And I was like, yeah, th thank you. Me, me too. I'm sorry that I'm dealing with this too. So she was looking at my lips and she was like, your lips are so, <laughs> she was like, your lips are so swollen and they're so like crusty and like there's so much stuff going on. She was like, I can't even tell like if there is even a cold sore still on your lip <laughs> at this point so she couldn't tell if I still had a cold sore or if my lips were just crusty and pusty and swollen just because of the allergic reaction so she told me that I had to stop using the stuff that I was using because that wasn't helping anything it was just making the situation worse so then she told me to not ever use any of those medicated lip things for chapped lips. So no more of what I was using, no more like Carmex, no more Blistex, no, nothing that says like medicated. And which makes sense because before all this happened, I used to use Carmex a lot. And before this, there were, I had actually bought Carmex at one point and it made, it did something funny to my lips. And I stopped using it. That's why I was even using that EOS medicated lip stuff. And she was like, that might have been trying to tell you something then. And that was another thing I had asked her. I was like, well, why wouldn't I get an allergic reaction now when I have been using this stuff before? And she was like, well, you can develop an allergic reaction at any time. And I was like, <laughs> great. So she told me not to use any of that. She told me to only use like Vaseline like the Vaseline lip stuff or the stuff called Aquaphor. And I was like, okay, fine. And then she prescribed me something else 
this uh prescription for um a cold sore because she was like well since i can't really tell i'm just gonna prescribe it to you just in case that way it'll get rid of it and you don't have to worry about that and i was like okay fine and she was like you can also take a benadryl for like the swelling and um that'll be that'll take care of that and you should be at least 50 percent better by tomorrow okay fine so i leave i do what she says i get everything from the drugstore i go home i ice my lips to get rid of the swelling by the end of the day i'm actually starting to look a little better i go to i wake up saturday i have to go to my hair appointment on saturday i actually have to wear a mask um when i'm at the while i'm getting my hair done <sighs> This is the worst like two and a half three hours because my lips are still kind of swollen that mask is like irritating my lips every time i like talk or anything and uh, it was terrible so i'm telling my my stylist like what's going on he's getting a kick out of it because he thinks it's hilarious i mean yeah it's kind of funny but it's also not funny because i'm still dealing with it still dealing with it but at this point on Saturday, after I had been dealing with it for six days at this point, I thought it was getting better. My lips were still kind of peeling. They were still kind of like pussy, just like a little bit, but I was keeping them moisturized, keeping the Vaseline and the Aquaphor on my lips. They seemed to be getting better. And when I went to sleep Friday night into Saturday, I didn't have any issues. I did not wake up like I did on Friday. So into saturday night going into sunday i don't know what the heck happened when i woke up on sunday morning my lips were so swollen and they were back to being so pussy and so red i don't know what happened there was a point in the middle of the night where i thought i was drooling it wasn't drool it was like pus like that was how much was like coming out of my lips i cannot i'm not lying to y'all i don't know what happened i don't know what happened from friday night into saturday night into sunday but when i tell y'all i was in tears because i was like what is happening to me like god why are you doing this to me like what is going on i just i couldn't do it anymore i was like what is happening and so mind you sunday at this point is mother's day and like i'm crying for all kind of reasons i'm crying because i feel like my lips are about to fall off i'm crying because i'm mad that i'm crying and i'm crying because it's mother's day and i need to go see my mom i need to go see my grandma it's supposed to be day day but i'm crying because my lips are messed up and then i'm also crying because i'm like i, I need to be filming videos but i can't film videos because my lips look like they're about to fall off and i'm just having a panic attack and i'm just like what is going on and so y'all i was just it was a hot mess okay sunday was not my day and i have to go around acting like i'm feeling a like i'm feeling good and i'm not feeling good and I, i'm not looking good my my face is just crazy okay and so i just like i said i don't know if anybody's ever had an allergic reaction on their lips it's not fun so finally, I'm just like, I don't know what to do at this point. Like, I don't know what to do. I've, I've Googled everything that I know to Google. Nothing is helping me. I finally come across somebody <laughs> on YouTube. And in their video, it literally says, like, uh, how to clear up, like, allergic reaction on your lips or something like that. I, when I find the video again, I'm going to link it down here in case anybody needs some help. But I found the video and oh my gosh, heaven sent. So the girl was describing her allergic reaction, same exact symptoms as mine, down to the last pustule, <laughs> okay? Like she had the same exact thing as me. And what she said she ended up doing was getting hydrocortisone ointment. Now, I had to raise my eyebrow up at that because I'm like, you put hydrocortisone on your lips? But at this point, you could have told me to run around naked outside if I thought that this was going to fix my lips. I would have done it, <laughs> okay? So, what did I do? I went straight out to CVS, same day, 
went and got me some hydrocortisone cream not cream ointment and i started slathering that stuff on my lips and first day i didn't really think that it did anything but i think my lips were so bad that i don't i wouldn't have seen the difference that day anyways but the second day so monday um they slowly started getting better tuesday slowly started getting better wednesday slowly started getting better and here we are i'm filming it's friday my lips are pretty much fine there's still some peeling my lips are like a little bit darker i'm pretty sure i'm hoping that they lighten back up but y'all the hydrocortisone ointment i keep wanting to say cream the hydrocortisone ointment i have it right here so i got the cvs brand cortisone ointment one percent yes yes this i will never not have this at home because had i had this last week i wouldn't have had to go through everything that i went through because this saved my life oh listen i did not think that i was ever going to be on camera again after what i went through that was terrible i have never seen anything like that before I have never been through anything like that before. My lips have never hurt like that before. It hurt to eat, it hurt to drink. By God, it hurt to brush my teeth. Just brushing my teeth and getting toothpaste in all of that, oh, y'all, I have been through it, okay? I have not wanted to do anything. I have not wanted to read. I have not wanted to do anything. Like, it was just hard to talk. I, I almost feel like, I was just low key kind of like getting depressed a little bit because I was just like, is this ever going to go away? Is it like, what is it? And you just don't really realize <laughs> how much you do with your lips until you don't have them anymore. It's crazy. And I feel like I'm being overly dramatic by even saying that I almost was like getting depressed, but it you just don't realize how much you use something or how much you depend on something even as something as small as your lips until they don't function anymore it's crazy i looked crazy i felt crazy i just felt so insecure even when i was going out to like places um and i would like run in and out of stores even when it started to heal i just felt like people were like staring at my mouth i was just like <gasps> oh my gosh it was just crazy i'm happy to say that i'm feeling a lot better now but if you guys are experiencing this make sure you try hydrocortisone ointment i would have never thought that i would be putting that on my mouth i probably would never have recommended anybody put that on their mouth <laughs> but it literally works it worked for me and it worked for the lady that I watched the video from. And in her comments, a lot of people seem to have had this issue that I didn't know that a lot of people got allergic reactions on their lips. But if you have never experienced this and you end up experiencing this, uh, I would definitely try that out. I would probably try that first before you try anything else because it knocked it out within a couple of days. But... That's what I've been going through the last couple of weeks. Um, not the last couple of weeks, but the last week. So, um, well, yeah. It's been almost two weeks. Yeah. So, that's what I've been going through the last couple of weeks. And I'm glad that it's technically almost over. I would say that my lips are about 95% there. They still kind of like itch just a, a little bit every so often. I stopped putting the hydro cortisone on there because I didn't really want my mouth to like feel like it's dependent on it so I just been using the I don't know if you could see that the Vaseline lip therapy so that's all that I've been using I I threw all of my lip chapsticks lipsticks uh lip glosses anything that interacted with that other stuff 
it's in the trash like all of that's in the trash i don't trust it i can't do it i don't even mm -mm, i'm scared to put anything else on my lips at this point i already have like really sensitive skin i don't need any more allergic reactions at this point i don't i don't need it in my life i can't do it i can't do it again nope don't want it don't need it can't do it so but that's it i just thought that i would share something a little personal with you guys um don't know if you guys care <laughs> So, but that's my story and that is all that I have for you guys. So, like I said, I will link that other lady's video. I don't know her, what her name is, but I will find it and I will link it down in case, like I said, this happens to you and you want to watch her video and her explanation of what she did. I found it very helpful. So, you guys can check that out and I will see you guys next time. Bye!